Yeah, okay, they all got heat. Okay, Gil Met's coming then because he didn't have a heat. Come on, you're gonna pump inherent bomber. Huh? Yeah, but these guys are groms. They don't have anything to talk about. We need we need old guys. They got more stuff to talk about. Dane Maddo. Let's go. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna wrangle you over. Let's do it. We're getting Gil Met on the couch. Let's do it. Inherent bomber. What else you got going on? Oh, you know, just um, not a lot, man. Just been surfing a lot. It's been fun. He's been surfing. Okay, we're walking over to the couch. We got Brandon Gilmet coming on. Sit down. Where do you want me? Right there. Right we here? don't cover up our uh, our yeah. our branding here. Definitely. It's very important. You know the rules, ba? You know the rules. Wow. All right. What do you this think is of our quite the setup? What do you think of our setup? This is our low profile it's setup. Unreal, dude. Look, you can watch all the guys. What? Comment. Is this Sainzy? Boom! Sainzy's down here every day. He's got like ten kids. He's coaching. That's why Gilmet knows. What's? Yeah, Gil. What's Gilmet up to? So I know you're you're behind the inherent bummer, right? Yeah. Uh, Travis Frey, a good friend of mine. You know Travis. Yep. Started inherent bummer, and I jumped we're, in with him we're a couple insiders. years ago. Just doing that, media production. Um, you're a producer. Similar to what you guys do, but different. Different, so you're uh. producing videos, projects. Yeah, yeah, different projects. Kind of have our own little media play in surf. Uh, and then um, do different projects for a lot of different brands and stuff like that. So, hey. yeah, you could have check, check. seen me? like during the uh, Pipeline event, we did a series called Best One Ever. So it was like 25 yeah. different pipeline surfers, like kind of icon that, pipeline yeah. surfers, like talking about the best wave they ever rode out there. It was pretty sick. Didn't you guys do that the year before too? So something yeah, like Yeah, a couple years before there was pipe. like 50 heaviest moments of pipe. Yeah. Yeah, it was Travis really cool. hit me up for some Wardo clips. Oh, yeah, I, I got bet. Couple, He's probably got some crazy couple ones. Wardo pipe comebacks. Had to qualify. I know, dude. How is Wardo? You had a gnarly like back thing going on. Yeah, I think he ate like a raw piece of meat in Mexico, or, like infected his spine or something gnarly. Wow, that sounds hectic. But he's back. Who's he's this? Is. Levi Slauson. Give us the play yeah, by play. Yeah, a little rat back, driving down the line, big old air oh rev. Are you my kidding me? Yeah, that was sick. Yeah, this kid. He's again. He does those things in his sleep, man. He's dude, all these guys do. Taro. Did you see Smooth that Taro layback life. snap thing earlier? Yeah, he did two in that heat. It was nuts. Well, the video guy only got one, but Wave it was key. nuts. Wave key training Brad yep. Gerlach. Jake Marshall. Oh, Dude, I saw the sickest Brad Gerlach like, clip where he calls out the guy before his heat in Santa Cruz or something. No way. That's sick. They're like, yeah, uh, Bryce Ellis is in your next heat. He's all, Bryce Ellis, I hate the way that guy surfs. I hope I fucking smoke him. Oh, my god. He straight up said that before and then the he heat. he probably did. Yeah, and he goes, yeah, they, they overscored him in the Gunston 500 or something, he says in the interview. That's classic. Yeah, I think Richie Collins uh, did something like that. Dino and Dino told me this story, I think. On the plane or something. Yeah, they jumped on the plane to go to Bell's, and then Richie was like, hey, what, what are you guys doing here? Why are you <laughs> even going? I'm going to win. And then he went and won the event. I kind of wish guys were like that a little more. I know. We need a little bit of flair little like who do we got here this guy's pretty good Griff. but he's just kicking out so inherent bomber you're producing projects yeah man and then still just trying you to helping surf as chloe with can. his surf projects and his film stuff or how, how are you involved with that no no chloe and i are just good friends oh, okay. from my time working at hurley with with all those guys yeah. i stayed you're really part of the pack the part of the pack i'm a little outsider in the uh two percent yeah, Club. is that the new? They <laughs> rebranded that. What yeah, is that? yeah. Tell us what. Do you know what two percent is? Yeah, they. In um, case we don't get Chloe over here. Yeah, I think it's just kind of like a group of all the San Clemente surfers. Um, yeah, they surf pretty Brother good. Brother and Griff kind of wanted to just bring every everybody together to like instead of everyone like off doing their own thing, like bring it all under one like umbrella, a gang, and, like a little gang. <laughs> Yeah. We got gang warfare down here. But it's sick, man. And there's some really talented kids that you don't oh really even get gosh. to see too much of down there that now are uh they have a little platform, you know, yeah. which is really cool. 
it's kind of like it could be a two-edged sword right because you kind of want to be in the mix with all those boys but then they're all so good you could get lost in the mix yeah if maybe you're, if you're like san clemente because there's so many guys but they all like yeah like if just one of those guys was like from i don't know laguna beach he'd be like by far the gnarliest guy in laguna or wherever griff griff little float foam climb um yeah, how, I think what's cool wins? is that those guys are uh, actually, like, hyping each other up, though, so much and, and kind of, you know, they don't have the jealousy thing of, like, tall poppy syndrome or whatever you uh, call yeah. that, which is really cool. Too to bad. See. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no. Then they'd be like Brad Gurley, like, oh, I hate the way Crosby serves. <laughs> I can't wait to serve against them. <laughs> nah, they're all boys. So how long you guys been doing this, the couch surfing thing? This I've been is, watching a couple episodes. Thank it's you. Fun. This is our fourth episode. We we invested in all this stuff. My partner Omar here, he figured all this stuff out. I have no idea how to do this stuff right here. Yeah, it looks. This is the man behind it all. I'm just a surf nerd, so we got here. I'm talking, but yeah, we're you know we're making noise, showing people we, what we can do. No one's gonna pay us to do it, so we're just gonna do it ourselves and show them we can do it. Do you and guys have your own like little Wi-Fi? deal set up yeah, down here dude. where you're just like streaming it from let's see can omar can you give us any info that's that's way above my head what is that yeah this whole yeah. operation yeah. looks my crazy. mic's kind of his mic's right funky now. but hold on we got some bonded internet stuff i, I know a couple terms but bonded yeah. internet that yeah sounds we're live though yeah. see. and there's levi bang oh it's some kind of bonded internet we're live marshall I think oh. they carpooled oh, down. Crap, uh, where did the action go? Morning. Sorry. We got a replay on that. So. Wham. That was sick. I like his form. He's kind of almost CG. like a weird little little day at Seaside. Little, it did look like that. Yeah. A little reform thing. Uh, yeah, it's sick. On? There's a few CT surfers here this morning, and then um, a bunch of the USA Junior team. They had to compete in the trials in that first heat to like I make it onto that. the end of the. The Grom's event. gotta go in the trials Sick. first. Whoa! Wham! Taro. Rail. Little Quade Farion out the Quaid back. Quade Grom out the back. He's from Noops. That's my that's my boy. I know he's one of the first Newport surfers to surf. He's probably surfed Huntington more than any other Newport surfer Dude, ever. Dude, honestly, I thought he was from Huntington because I'd only see him I out here. Too. And then I realized at the board riders event that he's on the Newport board rider. Yeah. I mean, I see him out of Newport too, but I honestly thought he was a Huntington guy. Okay. Got what a we replay? Do? Well, you guys got replay action Hold too. On. Come on, take Marshall, it away. Marshall, wrap. Nice rebound right there. Kind of waiting for this wave to set up. A little cut back and then finish with a nice little blow tail right there. That'll probably be a pretty decent score for today. This heat hasn't had too much... Uh, Crazy action. Oh, actually, Cade had a couple good waves in this heat so far. Who's this? This Dane? is Dane, Cade's brother. He's got that turn on lock right now. Yeah, the layback slam. Not that time. So give us some of your background. You're a pro surfer. Then you're on tour with the Hurley <laughs> team. and Yeah, I mean. You were sitting out uh, of the box for I, eight hours caddying yeah. for guys. I remember I that I did one. do that. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't really call myself a pro surfer, but um, – Oh, come I on. did surf a lot. Did you I ever did, get a paycheck I, for surfing? I did. A couple Dude, small Dude, you're a ones. pro surfer. Yeah, okay. I'll take <laughs> it. Uh, Cole, one of the biggest surfers uh, on the planet. I love him. Nobody rips and like tiny shreds. Red. I know. Um, it, yeah, yeah. I worked at Hurley for a long time, for like 16 years. And for probably 10 of those years, I traveled on the world tour with all the, the team. So we had like. Carissa Moore, John John, Kolohe, Philippe Toledo, just a laundry list of like crazy talent. Um, yeah, it was it was a really fun time, man. I got to go check out all the spots you dream of going to as a kid, and and watch those guys and carry them up the beach, like winning winning those big events. Levi, huge oh, air. What? Oh my gosh! Oh, that would have been sick. I'm actually surprised he didn't make it, kid. He's not. Right. How was that backside air he did at Rockies? Like oh, the that Philippe thing was Toledo wild. Kind. Yeah, that was a full Philippe Toledo air. It's kind of like the one he did in Brazil, you know, the one where he yeah. traveled super far. Yeah, yeah that was that nuts. That was insane. Kinda but, yeah, like when Felipe did that, like I was there on the beach and, like, 
it's crazy down there in Brazil. And when the guys oh like that God. are out there, Felipe, there's like two hundred thousand people, like shoulder to shoulder. It's like you're at Full the cr most crowded bar you've ever been to, on the sand, middle of summer, like. Just and they're just glued hot, to like every wave, glued to every wave, and like, screaming. Yeah, I guess the first year Felipe won in Brazil, his his family, maybe his two brothers, like went to go chair him up the beach, and like someone grabbed his board, and it like got to it got it? grabbed. Tried to take the board. Some kid stole the board. Yeah, had the board, like took it home, got home with it, and I guess the next day, the kid's mom messaged Felipe on Instagram and was like, "I'm so ashamed, my son stole your board." He has it here. We're going to bring it back. And, That's and gnarly. I want to say that Felipe maybe even was just like, oh, it's all good. Like, thanks for riding, but he can keep it. That's cool. <laughs> Felipe's cool. He yeah. seems like a cool guy. He is a really cool guy, man. He's He's got a big heart. He's a nice dude. Yeah. Seems he's just Nico. 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 He's another Coli. big boy. Yeah, big kid. Kind of underground ripper. Yeah. I think he works at Catalyst. He works or, at Catalyst Surf yeah. Shop. Kids owned by dog. Mike Riola and Matt Biolis of Lost. Who's of that? Lost fame. I don't know. Just a random HB shredder. Yeah. Dude, so you must have got some sick sessions all these perfect ways with all the pros out. Yeah, that's kind of the first thing most people think is that, like, I got to surf <laughs> so much. But it's not that glorious? No, no, it is. It's pretty It's pretty insane. I'm not complaining ever, but... Um, well, you're lucky you're not a video when guy. When you travel with <laughs> those guys to these waves, like... And you're on the tour, you gotta th remember you're with the 36 best yeah. men surfer on the planet, and there's like all the women too that are like insane. So we're, you paddle we're just out discussing and you're like that trying with to Timmy. catch waves with them. It's pretty tough. Yeah, I was more there for support too. Support. So you want to like? But you paddled out. Yeah, the. Oh, paddle I got out. I got my fair share of really fun days. There was actually one trip with uh, yeah, I was with Dino. I was staying with Nat. And Kolohe, not young, Kolohe, Dino, uh, in Tavarua. Oh, my god. And the gosh. waves were it was pretty big. And so they would run the contest out at, at uh, Cloud Break. And then I forget how it worked, but, like, I think you had to pay for, like, seven days regardless of if you lost in the event and, and left. And then after that, you paid each day you stayed uh -huh. and so i think we passed the seven day mark so and it's pretty expensive to stay so guys <laughs> were bailing when they'd lose yeah and then after that the waves were still pumping so you and they'd run the contest up. half day and out at cloud break and then restaurants is like like four to six foot perfect oh my gosh. and they'd call the comp off and no one would want to surf because they had heats the next day yeah they're saving themselves and so I, I think i surfed with like four or five dudes out at restaurants like two days in a row just like for eight hours dream like that was probably one of the, yeah. the hardest you probably got I a lot scored. watch a lot of sessions but then every once in a while you just get those magical sessions you never yeah, forget yeah 100 percent. like everyone gets burnt out or they lose the heat and they're just the waves are still good but they're just all sad or sooky there were some recent surf. clips of you down in mexico with the boys getting drained was oh that a yeah year or two ago yeah yeah that was like right kind of at the start of the pandemic it was it was crazy um Kolohe just figured out that we could actually fly into Mexico and go down to the points and stuff it was it was literally the first day that they opened the uh borders there oh my god and we flew in it. and scored like it was wild we got such good waves and there was no one around I I hadn't Ugh. been down there in so long so I didn't really know like what it's like but um but yeah we actually we scored so hard because there was still like not any surfers there that's insane yeah we kind of got a really good swell it was fun last time i was there was 06 for that contest i was filming wardo on the beach oh kicking my myself in the head oh my gosh i <laughs> bet that was fun to watch though <laughs> that was all fun those guys andy oh everyone i was just talking about timmy made the semis he was there oh yeah timmy's so gnarly man he is still gnarly. shreds what Dane. about, I remember there was that one, Damn. oh my gosh, hammering it. Dane's kind of late bloomer, dude. Was he just coming into his he's own? He's just coming into it these last few, like, last couple months even, really. Yeah, he's got some flair. He, he attacks the freaking section. Yeah, he has this, like, front side layback blast, blast, layback thing that's really sick. That's so what sick. What were you saying, though? What was I saying? <laughs> I don't know. We were talking about Timmy in Mexico. And oh, Timmy's yeah. Gnarly. Timmy's gnarly. He got made the semis there. 
the waves are fine. Oh, oh, that's what I was gonna bring. I remember there was that one event where the box was like closing out, and you had to sit out there with the guys' boards for like eight hours. Oh yeah. How, how was that? Just just that was, shark lure or what? Yeah, it was it was really <laughs> scary. I'm already like terrified of sharks. Like if I was surfing out here alone with no one around, I'd yeah. probably be tripping about sharks. But uh, yeah, it was at Margaret River. And it was really big that year, and and uh, they put this buoy way out in the middle of the channel. So like between the box and between Margs, Sharkiest like right place in the middle, the just planet. like yeah, it's fifty feet deep or whatever. And the caddies had to sit on the buoy, and no one had caddies. And they asked me if I'd caddy for them, so I just sat there. And there was like four <laughs> heats in a row. I think there was guys and they just paddle out and go hey can i leave my board here with you like <laughs> and you just sit there and, so and watch go, all it. right and so i just was sitting there and then kind of shortly after that they uh they had some issues with sharks around that event so <laughs> shortly Perfect. after that they uh they clipped having caddies out there anymore so in the caddies just had to stay eaten. on the beach and the so how many hours were you out there i remember you're out there i think i sat out there for two hours straight with no like by myself <laughs> And yeah, I remember it's pretty it was heavy because like you're washing not even catching through. waves. You're just looked, like sitting there. It looked like it was almost washing through where you were. Yeah, it like was. Like it would like roll, it like wash through and then back off. But you're almost like getting cleaned up. Yeah, there was. just sitting out there with the th sharks. There was cleanup sets. I think why they wanted me to sit with them is because some of the guys tied their boards to the buoy thinking it'd be fine. But the waves are actually still capping huh. over it. Yeah. And a couple guys like just got their boards smashed and. I remember that always stuck in my mind because I knew you. I'm like, dude, Gilmatt's just floating out there. And, I, and I'd been there before. I was like, that's so gnarly sitting out there for that long. I know. It's crazy. You know what's really weird? Um, Tom Jeno, oh, he, yeah. uh, he swims out there all the time. I just saw him post something on Instagram yesterday or the day before uh, filming a great white swim by him. Oh, my God. And he God. said it's the first time he's ever seen one. And you know they've done that a hundred times. You just don't see it. I know. It's crazy he's been out there that much, though, and that's the first time he's Look at Griff. Seen all the way across the flat section? No. Damn, the boys kind of scored today, actually. The oh. waves are super fun, like wedging. I thought it was going to be maybe like a third of this size. Seriously, I was like, dude, it's going to be grindy. It's going to be like a foot, but these guys are going to grind it out. But now they're actually doing like big gnarly maneuvers we get to to see to witness i know it's gonna go man on man here in the next round i think oh my god ask Sick. brandon about the white sea bass he had yesterday oh, bear flag what? fish co adventures yeah lomenzo did i went to bear flag in uh cdm yeah crystal it's the Cove. first time i went to the newer one and it's Dude, place is insane. Honestly, yeah. the fish was the, the, some of the best fish i've had in forever oh the freshest fish our boy toss carson we grew up with down the street. He's the owner, and he's always been f in the fishing his whole life. And <laughs> they got that swordfish boat. Now they got a new boat, the Bear Flag Three. Wow! That he fishes for tuna off. So he's got like the swordfish boat, and he's got the tuna boat. Yeah. And yeah, they're bringing in the freshest fish. They don't even need me to plug them because they got some serious business. I know, dude. They got <laughs> the spot right here, right yeah. in Huntington too. It's like there's not a lot of great places to eat around huntington i feel like or it's just so spread out i guess but if you're in pacific city bear flags the spot for yeah. sure oh, oh that was nuts who flying was flying into the flats who was that might have even just been some random gunter flair town gunter was down here early did he did how he do people oh that was taj lindblad how do people write in you can comment on the youtube won't lie this is probably oh, one of the no best way. ideas surf culture has seen in a while sebastian that's right sebastian valencia Everyone's got ideas, but not a lot of people execute. We're all about executing here at Alani Media. It'd be Teddy. Heavy. I watched Teddy uh, on on couch surfing with you guys. Yeah, were you yeah, psyched? Yeah, was sick. Jake we're, we're Davis, this is Jake a, Strength. This is a special edition because we are, our, uh, our sources at our news network heard that all these gnarly pros are going to be down here. So we just made the call last second to come down here and stream it live for everybody. Oh, it's the best, dude. People are probably frothing to watch this right now. Yeah, I mean, you got literally some of the best surfers on the whole entire planet out here. Look at that. Like, subscribe. We're on Spotify. We're on YouTube. You can After this, you can watch the whole thing on Spotify. Spotify is video, too. What? Yeah, we're doing it all. We got... We got everything. Omar, Omar Gadon, my business partner, figured all this stuff out because I definitely couldn't. 
Omar's a guru. Dude, Omar is a genius. None of this is happening without Omar. I'll tell you that much. I'd just be down here drinking coffee like Cold you guys. Woof. Dude, how is that? There he is, Omar. Take your credit. Look at that back, ladies. He I set know. himself up right with the sun perfectly. Beautiful Thanks, shot. Buddies. Dude, how's this? When we woke up, it was raining. We're like, uh-oh. Are we going to pull this off? And there's, like you said, the waves are three to four foot. It's freaking sunny and glassy. Yeah. We're live. Gilmet's on the couch. I woke up super early this morning just because it was raining so hard. It, like, woke me up at, like, 5. Yeah, that worried me. That uh, I kind of thought we were calling it off, too, but it's a glorious day today. What other projects Inherent Bummer got going on? Can you let us in on any secret info? We got a couple little secret little things in the works. Little but uh, secrets in the works? Yeah, but there's some fun stuff coming down the pipes you'll see soon. That's sick. Yeah, frothing. Did you ever interview uh, Mason and Shell Doggy? Yeah, yeah. I got something going right now. I was going to post something uh, this week. As All right. Look, we got you on go the to spot. We got you live they're on the spot. They're going to Tahiti, right? Yeah, there's Rangira. Some event in, in, uh, Dude, Rangira so Sheldon's on the cusp of qualifying for the Challenger Series. Yeah, I thought it was a good time to kind of bring that one back. I like that. Were you at the premiere? You were out there. Yeah, I went to the Wailua premiere in Wailua. Milk. It was insane, dude. Thank you. It was actually like so packed. Huh? How many people yeah. were there? Like three, oh. 400 people. Like. Yeah, no, we sold like 400 tickets or something. Yeah, it was wild, it was crazy. dude. crazy. It's cool they've been doing little premieres there, but that was definitely the most busy one I've, I've yeah, seen. Yeah, that was such a cool location. It's like historical location. All the shapers are there. Yep. It's a big... I was a little worried about the rain, but we got lucky. Like, that's... That's the X factor in Hawaii. You're like, there's nowhere really to inside to do a premiere in, on the North Shore unless you pay Turtle Bay a million dollars, and everywhere's outside. So you just gotta like chance it that it doesn't yeah. rain. Yeah, you get a little. <laughs> but we got lucky. Blessing. Yeah, we got lucky. Yeah, there's a little drizzle, but it actually worked out. Yeah, it was killer. But thank you for attending. Thank you for the future article you're gonna blow us up on. And yeah, inherent I I got on the <laughs> phone with uh with with Mason and Sheldon and did like a little talk about like where he's at and where he's headed. Yeah. So if you don't cool. know what we're talking about, it's our, uh, full length documentary we just produced. It's about Mason Ho's best friend, Sheldon Pai Sean, who grew up homeless on the beach for about nine years of his life on the West side of Oahu. And it's all about his inspirational story from rags to riches with the help of Mason. And yeah. he's actually on the cusp of qualifying for the Challenger Series. If he, I think he just got to make the quarters at Rangiroa, and he's on the Which Challenger. He, he can do for sure. Yeah, he Hopefully won they that get event. Some waves. He's won that event. Lindblad, boom. So I told him, I said, if you want it to be anywhere, you're glad it's at this spot because you already won this comp. Yep. Who's this? Huh. Jake Signs, local. Jake Signs, local boy, slamming it. So you pastor. can't. So no secret. The projects are secret. You gotta just check out inherentbummer.com. Yeah, check out inherentbummer.com. They're always, always posting got new, new stuff. New stuff going on there. Cool articles. Good music. Music culture, surf culture. Yep. Got it all going on. They're gonna smoke all these other magazines out there. <laughs> They're already on the couch surfing show. How can they go wrong? Yeah, we're we're going. Uh, the new wave, the new generation. New generation. That's what we're doing. We think the future is live. That's what we're doing. I know. It is live, dude. This is insane. Yeah, this is our low-profile setup. So we're, we're we exercising our, our First Amendment right to cover news-worthy events, which, you know, what? When, when the best surfers on the planet are out at Huntington Beach, I think it's kind of newsworthy. Totally. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, this is unreal, dude. What up? What does the inherent bummer want to do with this? Something crazy. I know we gotta we gotta <laughs> get in on this, dude. Maybe we get a little live series. Yeah, you never know. We should get you guys going to one of our next inherent bummer live events. Live event we, pipeline. We have um, <laughs> the inherent bummer house. We did we did this uh, this event called Inherent Bummer Live in San Clemente a couple weeks back, where we uh, we show a few different short films. Like little new surf films, uh -huh. and then had a few bands play and stuff. It's killer. It was super fun. But yeah, it'd be sick That's to go sick. live with that. Who short? Whoa. Power slide. 
We showed um, a piece that Ryan Callanan just had just made. He oh just yeah, came out I with. remember that. It's called Beneath a Pear Tree. It was really sick. And then um, Kolohe's latest one too, the Allen Hazardous Waste Collection yeah, Center. Yeah, yeah. Or how, whatever. Kolohe's quite the filmmaker. Yeah. No, it is. Interesting names. <laughs> yeah. But uh. Two yeah. percent. But there's always something to it. You guys did a little thing where. Watching from SF, wearing my inherent bummer blackberry hoodie. Yeah, boys. Yeah. Daniel Shea. Look at you got. You Supporting got, the homies, dude. Yeah. You got fans out there. You got loyal readers. D. Shea. He's lived up in uh, San Fran a while now, huh? Yeah. He's from Newport, but he's got a lot of NorCal love in his heart. He, he went to school at Santa Cruz and was roommates with Barney. No so way. when you're a roommate with Barney, you're kind of freaking Loke dog. You're in there. You're West Sider. <laughs> yeah. At heart. <laughs> I guess so. If you're that guy's roommate, you're probably you probably get a couple ways, maybe. Yeah, that's unreal, dude. So yeah, he likes NorCal. Moved to San Francisco. Man, I'll tell you what, the water felt like NorCal out here last oh, week. It's so surf? cold right now. It was the coldest I ever been in my whole life. I think so. Here. This is cold as it gets for sure. Yeah. I don't know what it's like today. At least the sun's out, but. I had a five minute. Look at what are they doing over there? Raising their hands. It's like class, it's like school. Do you think they're Do you think they're asking history questions? <laughs> Should I go? Simo's over probably just going. Hey, it's what? close. The judges want to know what the boys think. Oh, the boys get to vote. How have, have fan vote? Yeah. One. How are you involved with this thing? Um, you know, Simpo just pulled together a few of these things over the years. Like, I think the first one was sort of during the pandemic, but the beach was open here and, and the guys hadn't competed for a long time. So just as fun, like 10 friends or something, we all came together and did one of these things. So we just help out judging whatever extra eyes on like, who's up, uh, no one's allowed to wear jerseys. I yeah. think if, if we started doing that, they, like, we'd have to get permits and stuff. So right. we're just doing like a little grassroots style just, so just keep the boys blade sharp yeah as they say but then i just like to be down here in the mix and see yeah. what's going you on you just dude. love like you surf said. culture you just love the, to be in the mix yeah 100 like you're you one said, of the boys the uh when these guys are down here the best surfers in the world are out here surfing like my home spot yeah. i, I want to come watch i want to watch i know a surf fan <laughs> I, especially when I saw the waves, I was like, all right, dude, these guys aren't just going to be grinding. They're going to be blasting airs yeah. and big turns and stuff. Taro. Taro did a nuts layback Boom. earlier. Slam. Gosh, he's got so much, uh, like, pop when he hits yeah. the lip. Just He's he, always I perfectly know, timed. That board's looking good. We were tripping out just on point, the board look. Yeah, what's he ride? Pizels, huh? I, think. I guess so, yeah. Hayden. I Boom. Mean, everyone Hayden else is on a mayhem, teams. but... I know, <laughs> There's right? There's a couple in there. You can't go what wrong about with you? the you mayhem. Got, you're on the mayhem. Right? Yeah, I'm on mayhem always. I used to kind of like dabble around when I was traveling a lot. I'd get some JS and stuff, and they're good. But Matt just, I mean, you can't, can't go, go wrong. wrong. Yeah, Sub driver, <laughs> driver, whatever, like perfect California everyday ride, yeah. whatever waves Dude, you're that's surfing. my quiver. Sub driver, driver. That's all you need Yeah. around here at least. I know. I just got one like pretty much off the rack it was made for some kid that grabbed it and i think he thought it was too big for him and so i just kind of lucked out gian was like oh he's not gonna pick it up if you want it it's been like the best board i've had in years what happened are we down are we still up huh we're still out you can hear us but the, the thing's blank but we're here, here comes uh baron mamia and sean ward oh, baron mamia got and the sean call ward up. are coming down he got the call up but he just didn't want to come down early, I guess. Dude, every gnarly surfer on the planet's out here. There's four guys that are on the CT that are down here. And we got Gil Matt. He's a former pro surfer. Hello. What 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 comps were you doing? Hello. Give us your pro days. Wh who was paying you? Ruka? You had a Ruka Gosh. sticker. You were one of the original Ruka team riders, right? Yeah, I, I rode for Ruka like just when I was just out of high school. And then just after that, I just started riding for Hurley and like working there once a week. I was going to college and stuff, just right around the corner. Yeah. Golden West College. You got a you got, got a you got school. a bachelor's degree? What do you got? Nah, I never finished anything. Oh, I started traveling too much. Started went on tour. Yeah, was, I don't know. 
Felt like it was a once in a lifetime opportunity yeah. I had to take advantage of. So I'm sure you learned a lot on the tour. Yeah, definitely learned some uh, logistics. Plus, working for a big brand. I mean, that's 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 corporate business on some level. Yeah, so yeah. We, we uh, stuff going on with the tech. Owned by side. Nike for the whole time I worked there. So it was Omar said a little tech problems, but oh, you know, it's not We're an exact up. science. Gilmick, you're there at the Code Red swell, correct? Incorrect. Negative on that one. Okay, Negative Ghost Rider. Um, Noah Lonnie, the video guy's got his stats wrong. Jill no, Matt was not I wish. the code red. That was that was nuts. Actually I don't even know if I'd want to be there, but be I was cool there. To watch. I was there the um what was it? Like was that like two thousand and I uh, I'm so bad with dates. But the year where it was really big, like maxing how big you could paddle into it for the event. Remember that? Like Owen Wright and like Kai Otten got some psycho huge ones. Yeah. Uh, Medina won that year, and Kelly oh, and John yeah. had that crazy semi. There were some big semi. roll-ins. Um, Quaid Grom. Yeah, that was like the biggest I'd ever seen Chopu. It was wild. So you've, you've got to go to all the good spots. Yep. I got to check it all out, man. It's pretty pretty sweet. So inherent, oh, inherent bummer. You guys did a thing last summer here, right, with Chloe's um, movie, or like his little part he made for the new fish movie, Lost Fish movie. Yeah, yeah. So that was like the first uh, edition of like our what we're calling Inherent Bummer Live events. So <clears throat> here at Pacific City around the U.S. Open, we uh, we premiered a few short films, and then that was kind of like the feature was Kolohe's section he he made for. Uh, Matt's new fish movie. Yeah, five five nineteen and a quarter century because it's been a quarter century since they made that first movie or something or other. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, um, Matt still had the uh, one the original Cory board and he let us borrow it to uh, display it at the event. The thing still felt like a blade, dude. <laughs> felt so good. Yeah, um, I've seen that one. I had to get one of those things right after that. Yeah, uh, you got to have the round nose it, fish in your quiver. It's so much fun, dude. I had a hard time getting off of it. That's what I'm worried. Once I get on that thing, I, I'll get off my, my high-performance shortboard. Yeah. Do you ride uh, Do you ride it with the little mini trailer, or you just go twin fin? I don't have one now, but when I did have it, I'd do the, the two big ones and then the little trailer. Yeah. I tried it just with the um, with the trailer at first, and I liked it, and then I took the trailer out. It's unbelievable. Really? It's Even better? It's unbelievable i pretty much just fly down the line try to do a cutback so i figured i needed that middle one where's the log love in here like long borders what's a log <laughs> there's kidding. a couple logs out there it's a there's bunch a of logs on the beach right now this from is all Huntington. The rain. there's some logs on the beach from the big storms we've had maybe we'll do like a santa or a malibu uh surf show that'd be sick that's where we get the longboarding in that'd be super sick you guys should go post up at malibu would they be stoked on that i think yeah they'd be happy with us there right i think so sure you could go to churches too yeah churches would be sick the whole santa dude even blackies has the full longboard scene we'll get oh, we'll get true. down at blackies with alex nose all the boys there you go that's a full log scene I know those guys. I know loggers, too. I'm not just high-performance guy. I know, right? You know all the Newport Lokes. Sure. Newport's got everything. We got loggers. We got skimboarders. We got boogie boarders. We got body surfers. And we got surfers. We got it all. Have you guys done one of these down at the wedge yet? No, but I, that's coming, I think. We just got to wait for one of those swells. And we're going to have the main man from, from the wedge, Sean Starkey of Yucca Fins. He's already agreed to come on our couch. Sick. They're like the head lokes there. They like hang out on the on the jetty. They run it. Vibe guys out. Solid. <laughs> Not a free for all there, but yeah, that'd be sick. That'd be entertaining for the people. I think just that wave in general is just like. Oh yeah, it's, it's mesmerizing. You sit there and watch it all day. Yup. It's like pipeline. It's pipeline or choku or any of those the waves. It's the pipeline just sitting of there for sure. It just you can. It just grabs your attention. Mason Don't loves it, dude. Mason, like, straight up flies over here just to surf, like, wedge swells in the summer. I know, huh? He's like here at, like, trip. random times. Yeah, no, because he wants to surf the wedge, I swear. That's sick. Yep. 
Griffin and these guys are all making. I'm going to drag someone who lost over here. Those guys are going to be in the final, though. Brothers in his closing. We got, we've got Brett. We've got Timmy. we got Gil Matt. Brothers probably, he, he made it, too. He's hyper-focused. Uh, he won't even talk to us yet. Yeah, he's he's in the zone, man. <laughs> they Maybe <are>. Jet Schilling? <laughs> yeah. We need to round up some of these surfers that are in the event. I think Jet lost. Maybe he could jump in for a minute. He had a shocker this morning. His board flew out on the freeway. No way. He flew out of the back of his truck, got smoked. Oh, that's a good story. He had story. to turn around and go home. He was first heat of the morning. <laughs> or first first heat of the event. He, was in the, he wasn't in the uh, trials heat, so his heat was at 7. Casualties. Board flies out, had to turn around, go home, and then got here. And he kind of had a rough go in his heat. There he and, is. Uh, yeah, but he's still down here all psyched for his friends. Fuck yeah. Giving back massages. All the boys are psyching. Look, he's giving Chloe a back massage. Look at all these gnarly surfers. This is insane. I'm glad we came down here and went live. I wonder, wonder, wonder what the viewers are thinking. Are you liking this stuff? Got some questions for Gil Matt? Yeah, what are the viewers saying? Do you have, like, a visibility to Tell see? Tell Brandon I forgot the band is playing at the next Inherent Bummer event. Yeah, Max. Max Lambert, dude. He's a local legend. He works up at Sugar Shack. Um, you've probably seen him. He he uh, surfs for Huntington Board Riders a lot. Oh, sick. And he plays in this sick little punk band. Are they playing it? They, uh, DJ waiting for my couch surfing merch. Win merch. Oh, we're going to be rich off this show. I Everyone know, wants you to gotta buy get shit. Going. Yeah, um, this is crazy. We're millionaires already. But, yeah, Max's band is sick, dude. They, uh, they just go rogue and, like, They'll bring their whole setup down, PA and everything, to the library. There's, like, this park in the library <laughs> with a stage. Punk rock show at the library? I love it. And they do it in the middle of the night, though. And there's, like, a hundred kids there just frothing. Well, that's sick. Grass yeah, they roots. did one on the beach, actually. No They're way. They're almost like doing what you guys are doing here. But with but music. But with music. That's it's insane. unreal. You guys should go live with one of their things. We're going to go live That'd with everything. Sick. We're always live. Just tape a GoPro to your head. Yeah, and just we've go. done that. We walked around the U.S. Open just, just badgering people. Tom <laughs> Curran, Kanoa Igarashi, everybody. But, yeah, Inherent Bummer is big in the music culture and movie stuff. I always see you guys write up about music and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like it's kind of the thing that ties everything together. You know, we, we're all, like, into some sort of music, right? But, yeah. um. But yeah, it's it's fun, dude. Going to shows is like the most unreal thing ever. We love it. Surf, music, contest, gnarliest pros on the planet. All right. What do you think? Should we walk over there and wrangle? Some yeah, guys? let's go wrangle these guys, dude. Watch, I got this thing. It's like my my roaming mic. We're gonna let's get roam. it going. I think they're what, in what between heats right now, what, so it's kind of what, perfect time. Yeah. What pro do you recommend us getting? Um, Jet, Jet's a Jet's a big catch. We can't get Chloe or Griffin because they're still going, huh? Yeah, Jet's the guy, dude. He could be he could get in on this thing. Okay, let's go. We're gonna get an update. Taj just came in from his heat, but he probably won. He's gonna go back out. I think they're getting down to like the nitty gritty here. So is it man on man yet? I think it's going man on man right now. Okay, let's walk over and get an update. Let's get him. Okay, try it. Check, check. Can you hear me? Yeah. You hear me? We're walking over. Gilmet graced us with his presence on the couch. No, thank you guys for having me. That yeah, of cool, course. Dude, that was insane. Inherent like bummer. Check that out. 